Okay, so today we are going to do the St. Mary and Virginia Falls hike in Glacier National Park. It's supposed to be a pretty family friendly one. It's on the east side over near St. Mary's, obviously. So let's get going and see how it is. We're very sad. We were gonna grab some Chick-fil-A on our way out. And They're it's closed. Sunday, every time. We always <laughs> do stuff on Sundays. While I appreciate their Christian bent, it's very inconvenient when you really want Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. <laughs> we need chicken. So McDonald's, we got two large meals and split them. And it was cheaper, 16 bucks instead of 20 to 30. So that was good. And we remembered our Glacier Park Pass. We almost forgot that. All right, so we are almost to our hike. Scary drive. <laughs> If you're afraid of heights, it might be a little bit difficult. Also, don't be stupid. Yeah. So, there is a long line for the bathrooms, but uh, the lady in front of me, she walks in, and then she walks out, and she must have been a tourist. She was like, I'm not going in there, I'll wait. And I was like, good luck, lady, because unless you're in an actual like little village part of Glacier, they're all like that. Like what? They're the pit Gross. toilets. They're gross. This just gross. We made it to the trailhead. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. As always, give a big thumbs up if you find anything in here helpful or useful. And you can also click the link below to my blog post with more details of this hike. Uh, parking is definitely an issue. There's not a very big parking lot here, so you may have to wait a little bit for somebody to leave or park a little farther up uh, that other direction. That way, there was a little parking lot maybe a mile up, but then it's kind of a tight road to walk along, so. Just be patient, bring your patience. So it looks like it's 1.9 miles. We go to St. Mary Falls first, and then Virginia Falls. Let's go. There's a deer by the bear grass down there. I don't see a deer. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh my gosh, it's right next to me. <laughs> St. Mary's Falls. We got a little rainstorm, so we're getting a little wet here, but the falls look beautiful. We're gonna head over and get a closer look. All right, so we had to switch to the GoPro. Too much rain. So, the footage may be a little different from here on out, but we're heading on to Virginia Falls now, and it's beautiful, and at least we're not hot. This is 
for shoes with great tread come in really handy when you're hiking in Glacier. Ooh, see that? Virginia Falls, it's absolutely beautiful. We are sapping wet. I don't know if you can see them up there. But you can walk right up to the falls and stand right at the base. I got some footage with the GoPro because it was so wet. We'll see how that turns out. I'll show it to you. Super easy hike. Anybody should be able to do this one. And very beautiful. The whole way is beautiful. You're going to pass multiple falls along the way. Definitely hike all the way to Virginia Falls because they are breathtaking and it's really not that much farther of a hike. Um, you will know it when you get there. We kept asking people, is this the falls? Is this the falls? And they said, no, you'll know when you get there because <laughs> they're huge. There were some mosquitoes there, so bring bug spray. There is a shuttle drop off. From east to west, there is a shuttle that drives going to the Sun Road. And it stops at all the major hikes and lookout points. So if you don't want to deal with the parking issue, that's a great option. You'll just have to pay attention to shuttle pickup and drop off times. But especially in the middle of summer, when tourists are in full bloom here, <laughs> it beats uh, fighting for parking spots. We finished the hike, we timed our way back without stops, it took about 40 minutes and we were trucking. So at just that time for toddlers or older people hiking with you. Absolutely, I think one of our top hikes in the park so far. And it's great because your whole family can do it. It's not accessible for disabled people, but anybody else should be able to go on the hike. Make sure you bring a rain jacket because even if it doesn't rain, like it did on, on us, <laughs> uh, you will want that when you go right next to the falls because of the splash off. And definitely don't forget to give a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. So everybody was just stopped in the road and we couldn't see anything for a bit. And somebody pointed out their window and there is a black bear up in the woods. They're so hard to see. They blend in with those tree trunks, but we got to see it, got a little bit of footage for you guys, and it's so fun to see wildlife at the park. Always a good day when you see it.